My name is Wolfgang Lehmacher. I'm a board member, executive advisor, and business angel. I'm also the leader of Catalyst Supply Chain Innovation Network. I have been the head of supply chain and transport industries at the World Economic Forum. And supply chain and logistics is clearly my passion. I wonder why to use uh, shipper owned containers and uh, also who can benefit from it. And I think that along the entire value chain, players can find new benefits through SOCs. And um, they are in particular useful to avoid the merge and retention charges. For example, when it's unclear how long it will take to load a container or when the goods are ready to be loaded. But also when there are doubts in terms of the customs clearance process in a destination country, or simply when there is a record that the receiver did not immediately unload the container. And then the shipping lines charge their fees when it goes beyond the agreed days. But there are other reasons too. For example, to some destinations, uh, carriers tend to uh, build into the rates the difficulties they have to return containers. And then when shippers use their SOCs, their shipper-owned containers, then they can avoid these additional buffers the carriers put in. So they can reduce the fees. Of course, there is the question what to do with the container, but for example, they can be used for storage or even for offices in the destination countries. There is also that challenge to get containers, for example, in landlocked countries, because they are in the hinterland, the customers that load the containers, and it is always difficult to get containers there. And then a shipper owned container is a good solution, as well as when there are special containers required, for example, open tops. So the SOC concept gives much more flexibility and it gives also control, control over the whole chain. Because if I know the con own the container, then I know uh, who brings it to me, who brings it to the port, to which port, and so on. So these are the advantages that come with the SOCs. Some mention that there are also drawbacks. And the drawback, which is very often seen, is the additional operational process workload. Because the control, the need to hire their own truckers and work closely along the entire process requires knowledge and requires um, time and work. But we have entered the fourth industrial revolution. And with that, more and more processes are digitized, more and more platforms arise. And therefore, the additional workload may come less and less into play, and therefore less and less a challenge. Then why is the market share, the share of SOCs so low? Is it that the forwarders don't pay enough attention? And I think it is a question of time. 
there is probably not enough awareness about the solution. There's not enough knowledge about the way to handle and deal with it. And as forwarders are under pressure to bring better solutions to their customers, I think that SOC will become more and more a part of the mix of the forwarders offering. There is also another challenge around the SOCs, and that is to focus on large clients, but with more awareness and with more share in the mix, I think also small and mid-sized companies will benefit from this additional solution. But what about the carriers? The carriers can also benefit because who wants endless discussion about demurrage and retention fees? Who wants to have unhappy customers? And maybe there is also a play for the carriers to manage their own container pool and overcome their struggles and their hurdles and their challenges. Will, forwarders can use uh, SOCs to improve their position, to offer additional solutions, to advise customers when it is recommended to use SOCs. And there are lanes and situations when SOCs are not the best solution. On the very busy lanes, which are balanced, SOCs are not needed. We have highly competitive rates and equipment is available. But SOCs can definitely help to enrich the offering of forwarders. COVID-19 has created a lot of imbalances in the container pool. Almost all shipping lines have difficulties to get enough containers in Asia at that point in time. And SOCs are probably, again, a way to bring a solution to, to, bring a solution to the market. Maybe I'll do that again. COVID-19 has created imbalances in containers. Shipping lines have challenges to provide equipment in Asia, particularly in China. And SOCs are a solution because there is a price now factored into the Asian rates. And this price is probably close to the cost of a container. And therefore, shippers can, and even carriers should think about, use SOCs to deal with those balances. And there is an interest of the SOC industry to help the shippers and the carriers in this particular situation because what would be a better marketing campaign than that?